Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy, Ivan, aka DJ Superfly, uh, doing another tutorial here on Mix Emergency, um, on how to use two computers to have them network to each other, so that let's say you have one computer, uh, we'll pick this one as the main output, um, let's say this is, will be the main computer that's going to be outputting to uh, projectors, TVs, or whatever you're using, um, but how do you send the video from, you know, let's say you got two DJs going on, and if you got a, a dedicated mixer here, like the Rain 70, that you're able to switch between two laptops, right? Uh, I got both of them hooked up through USB, uh, as you can see there, there's one, one, this one, and then we've got this weird angled one going on to this one, so they both got uh, Serato running. In the background and we also got mix emergency on both um, uh, I'm running demo and it kind of works because it's just gonna show you here on the uh, tutorial how what it means and how um, uh, how to establish it you know which computers which so basically uh, the best way that's happening right now is through uh, of course NDI and that's through network um, if you're at a club and you're spinning and you know again you have another DJ with you you don't want to switch cables or you don't want to switch um, uh, you know HDMI inputs and all that have it look all weird have a HDMI switcher and you can just basically just do it very simple um, you get yourself one of these Thunderbolt 3 cables they run through USB-C now again this is for newer MacBooks that have the uh, USB-C uh, Thunderbolt port so this is a new one this is the, the generation 3 uh, it runs like a USB-C uh, basically you can output um, output input 40 gigabytes of speed so all that data is running through the small cable so basically you just connect the uh, the cable through each computer now you can do this through Ethernet as well if you have one of those USB C Ethernet adapters I think I might have one here I'll look for it oh, I just saw it earlier yes I do have it nice so if you have two of these um, you don't necessarily have to use that right um, you can do uh, uh, these where it just basically just runs through hook it up there and then um, run the Ethernet cable. It can be as long as you want um, to the other computer. So how do you determine on you know how to do that uh, on the computers? Because once you have that hooked up, that you got to do extra steps to allow for each computer to uh, connect to each other. So this one I'm running the um, latest version. It's Catalina, um, and I'm running uh, Mojave. I can't recall what version I'm running here. I'm running Mojave. Uh, so you know it doesn't matter as long as you get that connection because it's hardware based and we're gonna switch the the software part of it now so to do that we have to go into networking here so you go into network and system preferences go there you basically create a, a new bridge and I already created one earlier so you go here you just create the bridge um, or again if you were to have you know let's say the connection here for uh, Ethernet but I don't have it connected so it's only gonna, uh, gonna detect the Thunderbolt one so like I said I already did that earlier and it, it got itself an IP address and everything and I'm not hooked up to Wi-Fi as you can see there no Wi-Fi is turned on um, and basically do that same thing over here uh, create it I'm trying to do this as fast as I can because some, some of my laptops are gonna oh, this laptop is gonna go dead um, you can see it here it's got a self-assigned IP address there it doesn't IP address doesn't matter um, got the Wi-Fi connected um, so uh, basically I can just send the information from this video all the video uh, output the main output from this one um, but how do we determine that so on the one that we're going to share it with we're going to well we can actually turn them on on both so we go to preferences here we go to sharing and we go to allow the NDI output there so I select that and I just do 1280 by 720 um, you don't need high def video stuff it's going to send too much information so you have that selected right and you can kind of see that this computer I'm, I'll put the main is running demo so this is the demo version it's got the inkling version um, logo on it so cool and that we're going to determine that by you know um, going into the other one here so do the same thing here go to the preferences Crap. preferences right and then go to sherry and you know just allow them both to communicate with each other and we'll on that ndi now how do you get the video from this one to this one now that we got the Thunderbolt we got the network figured out um, it's very simple so it all just depends where you're you know if you want to have one deck assigned to it if you want to have the main input so if you're this is the main input here this is the left deck right deck and it's the same it's just this I got the same song um, basically if you wanted to just switch it off from here let's say you're done mixing right 
you'll see it come up here on this setting here so you gotta have this setting up and it's gonna allow the NDI uh, input so you can see there you select which one um, the one I'm using this one is a 2017 and the other one is a 2019 we select that one right and once we do this once we select that now you see there that's the main output so this is the main output that's going to be um, sent over to uh, the projector TV or whatever this you know whatever screen method you're using uh, it's going to push it off to the side uh, and that's it so that's the main output right once you do that right well, but you, you have to switch off the audio because it's still running from the old audio um, you can do it there you do a switch off right let's say the next DJ is going to mix in from this side right they're mixing there uh, you prepare your your song whatever it is you're playing um, currently right now let's see I'm playing just a random song here let's play it here so there it is I'm playing the song the video is going out with it and I got a little matching video to it and there it is very simple very cool tool to use and um, to turn it off basically if you want to go back to DJ on this computer um, uh, you basically just switch right you go back to your source you switch if you don't know about the switching how to switch between computers I highly suggest you do that uh, but you're switching over videos and you can do that through a mixer emergency and all you do is just turn it off basically just go into the, that setting right and it's back to the computer uh, this main computer uh, very simple pretty cool thing to do with mix emergency um, now let's say you wanted to send video from this computer into the other one right it's just very simple you go back into NDI option uh, you select there and you select um, the 2017 again is that one and you just turn it on and basically it's, it's right there boom it's an awesome thing to have another tool because you can just basically just mix with you know if you were to have just two computers basically you want to have two in, in your setups and whatnot but it works with a lot of the mixers that have you know the the, the two deck switches um, controllers uh, whatever you set up you use doesn't necessarily have to be this one it could be whatever as long as you establish that connection through NDI uh, which is an open source software that is available for pretty much everybody and mix emergency included it in theirs so uh, pretty cool thing to use and yeah so if you guys like this video please like subscribe and share this video leave a comment and let me know what you think all right peace out